Wesker is 48 years old. I've been playing this game since 2009, and I'm just now seeing that his age says that he's 48 years old. <laughs> Welcome back to Cloud Plays Resident Evil 5, The Mercenaries. Brought to you by Rocket Rabbit Commentaries. We're now in the ship deck, one of the two most challenging levels at the later point in the Mercenaries playthrough. I actually really like this spawn point a lot less than the other one because the other spawn point actually puts you near the chicken. In order to get the chicken now, you have to go all the way to where the chicken actually is, which is at the other end of the fucking ship. This area has a special surprise! Surprise! It's the Chainsaw Dude! The Chainsaw Dude is one of the more interesting enemies in Resident Evil 5, which is why I kinda like the ship deck. If only they didn't make you fight, like, fucking six of them. And he's gonna get up in a few seconds because the guy- the chainsaw guy with the blue pants is a two stage motherfucker. Please get up before these guys attack me. They did not attack me. I am about to die because guess what? Now he's doing that and I- That guy actually stopped me from getting killed by the chainsaw guy! The chainsaw dude is dead! Yeah, I don't care if you're grappling me right now. Do you really think I care? I am just gonna play a bunch of mines, not linger over here because I swear to god that is a mistake I've made millions of times and would rather not repeat during this recording. That guy's about to get blown up. That guy just jumped down is probably about to get shot in the face. Were he not running and dodging to the left, so re aim the shot. No, he actually had a plug of this whole time. Surprise! Wow, so many surprises. Stop running! Do you really have to run when I'm right next to you? What is the matter with you guys? Why are you running everywhere when I'm right next to you? Do you really just want to be that annoying? That is the third time I got grappled to the face. Maybe there's something I could pick up that'll help assuage my anguish. No, I couldn't even double get this guy or knock him down. That guy behind me probably just tried attacking me. I can't believe he just died. This guy needs to get shot several times, not get grappled by Mr. Mustache. Instead, shooting Mr. Co Mr. Molotov right out of the reach of Mr. Wrench. Out of the reach of everybody else, mine goodbye to all of you. I'm gonna go up the ladder now because now that they're all dead, I don't have to fucking worry about them. There's another chain- there, the pair of chainsaw dudes are on their way right now because for some reason in this map, the chainsaw dudes start spawning as soon as you start playing. It doesn't wait for you to get a certain number of kills first. I'm gonna go around to the bow because you really want to get to the bow before you move on to anything else. This map is ridiculously large, by the way. Like, it, it is ludicrous. You waste so much time just going from place to place, which is why it necessitates depleting the area of its of it, depleting each of the spawn zones of its supply of Magini before moving on, because otherwise you will run out of time just running to the different areas. I waited for him deliberately to fall down because shooting him from the top is not very helpful. I'm also pretty sure I should not have blown up that barrel right there because the barrel makes it easier to kill the chicken. This guy really needs to stop running. Yeah. He needs to stop running and just stagger over there. It's like, oh, you, my face, my face, my beautiful face! Like, I freaked out for a second because I thought that was the chainsaw dude. Uh, there's a... Ch okay, the, oh, it's really both of the chainsaw dudes, and neither of them got stunned. Bizarre. Uh, I'm just gonna wait for these guys to, you know, pol very politely take their turn actually trying to slash me. Uh, the chainsaw dudes are actually, like, pathetically easy to avoid because they take so long just to attack, unless they're standing right in front of you like that. However, now I'm out of magnum ammo. He's gonna turn around and try swing to kill me. Instead, I'm gonna move around, try, maybe try shooting him in the face. That didn't work. That guy just shot me out. I got a Cobra Strike somehow. I'm gonna throw down a Proximity Mine because that fucking Chainsaw Dude is right the fuck behind me. I... Chainsaw Dudes really make me uncomfortable. What makes me even more uncomfortable is when they... Okay, please, Grace, thank you. Okay? And you guys are so polite at times. It's like... I, can, I, can, I can't get mad at you. I'm actually amazed that I did not die right there because that dude was just about to finish the attack. Just like the Reaper, if you get hit with the chainsaw, you're dead. Which is fine, because it's a chainsaw, not a fucking sci-fi creature that they basically pulled out of somebody's fucking ass that just says, Oh, I kill you in one shot just because. 
No, chainsaws make sense. Giant insect creatures, I don't give a fuck about, do not make sense. There's a rocket launcher up here, along with a couple of crossbow guys. These crossbow guys will help me explain why I am probably not going to do the 150-man challenge for this particular level. Why? Because getting the 150 kills in this level is almost entirely luck-based. You have to get lucky in order to get all the kills. I swear to God, that is the truth. Why can't I jump down? There's a chainsaw dude right behind me. I really don't want to wait. He's right there. I just got a melee kill. That guy just got staggered back. I don't care. That guy just tried to attack me. I'm going to take out my magnum to finally get rid of this chainsaw guy. Stop making me waste time moving from place to place. God damn inventory system! Oh, boy. No, I, was not in, I wasn't in any real danger because depending on the timing, uh, the chainsaw dude is basically no threat because invincibility frames will save you from getting your head chopped off. I miraculously got a double... There's the chainsaw dude once again. All of you guys just really just need to get out of my face. Now, he is going to sleep for a little bit. He's going to lay on the ground for about 15 seconds, giving me enough time to actually get rid of these guys because, god damn it, I'm getting swamped. No, now I'm going to turn around. He's just getting back up. He's just getting back up. I'm going to kill him with one magnum shot, not get grabbed. Maybe one of his fucking idiot friends will give me some melee time. No, that guy just got blown up. He got a panther fang opportunity, giving me a melee kill. Huzzah. The, the blue the blue panted chainsaw guys actually do drop first aid sprays. For some reason, his red panted counterpart does not. The red panted chainsaw dude also has less health for some reason. The red, chain, the red panted chainsaw dude also doesn't require you to kill him twice. Which is so fucking stupid, I can't even fucking fathom. The blue chainsaw dudes are extremely dangerous because they're a two-part enemy, because they get invincibility time while they're on the ground. No, you can't kill them. You can't damage them while they're in the prone position after you kill them the first time. You have to wait for them to get back up in order to kill them again. However, when they get back up the second time, they start swinging their chainsaws around like goddamn psychopathic retards. And while they're swinging their chainsaw around like goddamn psychopathic retards, they... they... They don't give you grace time anymore. They will just, they don't care what you're doing. They're just gonna go right up to you and slash your fucking head off. And that's it. In solo play, when you get with the chainsaw, you're done. In, in, com in duo play, there's a chance that you'll just get knocked down. It's like, it's just a flesh wound. No, I just got my head chopped off. Of course it's not just a flesh wound. And this guy just got shot in the face. I'm gonna turn around and get that combo time. And this pit will swamp you with enemies and I happen to know that that chainsaw dude is alone this time which is why I'm just gonna wait for him to get right up to my face so I can shoot him with the magnum twice oh good he had to he had to wait for a second he's like I'm here uh do I no I don't have any proximity bombs um I'm actually I'm not I'm not doing bad I have a decent amount of time left, not to mention- OH MY GOD! I- I would much prefer just fighting the red-panted chainsaw guys for the rest of this level, thank you. I really don't care for the blue-panted chainsaw guys because those guys are actually kind of scary. Um, I- I'm seriously considering just shooting that guy out with my pistol up there just so he frees up a- oh god damn it. Yep. He falls right out of range of my sight, so I can't finish killing him. There is a grenade launcher over here for some reason. Do not pick a grenade launcher up ever. It's, oh my god, there's two of them. Uh, I'm just going to throw a grenade down here to get some kills. Stun this guy over here to the tiger uppercut, which is fucking useless because these guys have too much health to practically ever get melee killed. This guy needs to get shot in the face. Those chainsaw guys are going to wait for me to, uh, I don't know, just... They're just, they're just gonna be really nice. I'm gonna throw another grenade because this level is starting to flood. Oh god damn it, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. I can't believe I'm not dead. I honestly, sincerely cannot believe I'm not dead right now because I was in a grapple from behind, which makes it so that the fucking enemies will just try to, you know, will just attack you repeatedly. These guys are so fucking polite, they will just wait for you. They'll wait for you to do a thing, I think because in test playthroughs they realize that dual play doubles the chance that somebody's gonna get hit with the chainsaw. They did everything. 
This this game was not designed for solo play. I don't know if I've established this. I hope it's perfectly clear right now. That's why there are stupid ass animations for everything. That's why um that that's why you have to resuscitate yourself is because they had to invent that feature just so that solo play is even playable. I'm gonna melee kill this guy just in time for the chainsaw dude to wake up from his coma. Uh, and he's, you know, instead of being confused, he's gonna be twice as dangerous as he was before, if not just infinitely so, because his fucking deranged, uh, swing, kill, everything is so just... It, it just, it, make, it makes my heart palpitate. I'm gonna use this healing item because there's a first aid spray right here. I'm gonna go up top and get the timer and not use the zip line to go across. I really don't think the zip line is a good idea right now, except maybe to deplete that spawn area over there, which I'm pretty sure is not out of enemies at the moment. This guy's gonna get shot in the face because he's just politely waiting for me to get back up, as though he happens to know that I get invisibility time while I'm on ladders. Uh, this is not a good place to linger. Oh, Christ. I'm just gonna go down. My instinct says to go down because I know that's where all the enemies are coming from, except possibly from this tower right here. Um... The tower did not spawn enemies yet, instead I'm gonna get a Cobra Strike. This area is actually flooding with enemies really nicely, which means that I could probably get doubles because they bunch up together really nice like this. Doubles! Stagger! Headshot! Fuck you, Quagga! Die! Die! I'm gonna get grabbed! Maybe! No, I didn't get grabbed. Instead, that guy just tried to hit me, even though he was out of range. He was... Oh! Okay, so now I can win all this guy to death because I actually hit him before he fell fully prone on the ground. Because once you hit them after they go fully prone, you don't get a chance to melee them. They just start getting right back up. No, I'm not out of Chainsaw Guys just yet. Why would I be out of Chainsaw Guys? This level is not hard enough. I, I shot that guy's dynamite somehow. I'm going to throw a flash grenade so you die, not hit me. No, you spawned a Plaga. I'm, I hope that there's a stun guy right behind me. Yes, there was. And I couldn't melee both of them, so I'm just gonna, you know, get you, uh, let you kind of hit me, maybe almost get grabbed, and then do a melee strike for some more points. Instead, wait for Mr. Crossbow to just wait. I... I, I hate Plagas so much. Because not only are they as annoying as I've explained all the ways that they can be, on top of everything else, if there's a melee target standing right next to them, it's very awkward to actually get to the melee target, because if they hit you, then you get stunned and likely will miss your melee opportunity. I don't mind getting grappled right now, because the grapple will just... basically just give me an opportunity to get whoever grappled me. Those two guys just got blown up. Blow up the explosive barrel right there to spawn the Plaga right there. Shoot him with the Magnum. Get the guy behind him at the same time. I don't care. This, this area really just needs to run out of enemies. So I can actually, you know, move on reasonably. Uh, that's a rotten egg. Fuck you, rotten egg. I'm gonna shoot you in the head. And thankfully you did the longer of the stun animations so that I can actually have enough time to walk up and finish you off. You are gonna stagger backwards. You are gonna go down with him. Maybe somebody will spawn from that car up there. I have no idea. There's somebody right here. He didn't get knocked over by the door. I wish I had a flash grenade because now I'm fucking surrounded. And there's dynamite. just probably gonna blow me up like that. Because this game knows me so well that now I know it. There's a flash grenade right there. I can tell because it's blue. I actually really like that they render the objects. Even before Resident Evil 4 decided in subsequent ports to actually start doing it itself. I think that I think the Xbox 360 port of Resident Evil 4 actually came out after this game came out. But they figured out to start doing to start rendering the items in the environment uh, probably around the same time as the Wii release. Actually, probably for the Wii release. You're gonna walk right up to me and grapple me for the umpteenth time. I am running out of time now. I have no idea how many of these guys remain. This spawn zone has a lot of fucking enemies, which probably probably because there's just a lot of... I don't know. Um, I, I have a feeling it's out now because now they're not spawning. I'm gonna go over here. Hopefully I just entered the range which will cause them to spawn. You see that crow's nest up there? That is why this particular level is luck-based for the 150-man challenge. Because if the archers spawn up there, even if you're on the other side of the map, these guys are fucking scripted to run up 
ignore everything and just run to the crow's nest because they can actually get a position on you from the crow's nest to do their stupid ass projectile attacks. It's retarded. It's luck based because unless you have the rocket launcher like I have right now or you're extremely accurate with the magnum at a distance, you will not kill the archers in time. You will run out of time before you can kill all the archers. Oh god. I'm just gonna run down here. He just blew up. And fuck you. There's nothing up there now, so I'm gonna run the bend around here and hopefully find some more people that I can actually kill. There's another person that I can actually kill, but not in time for my timer to or my multiplier to expire. I have 131,000 fucking points, yet I am no closer to finishing this map. There's nobody at the crow's nest right now, so I have no idea where the rest of the enemies are. There are guys on the crow's nest over there! You see them over there? Those guys are saying, hey, look at us! Go fuck yourself! Yeah, the aiming is all woobly. Hopefully you didn't just miss. I don't think I did. I hope I didn't. I actually killed them all, yay! So now those guys didn't spawn. Maybe it'll spawn enemies that are actually close to me! I'm gonna run over here now! Because this is probably the only spawn area of the map that hasn't been depleted yet. And since I only have 29 seconds left, I really should focus on getting melee kills. Where are the enemies? This is why I don't want to do the 150 man challenge for this level. Fuck this level. This level sucks. That dynamite guy is probably about to blow up his buddy. Which means that I can't... Oh. Oh, thank you for not... Oh, oh yeah, you can grapple me. Okay, yeah, I failed. I don't care. I am not going to do this level a second time. I have made my point. The miraculously, Wesker gets complete invulnerability after time runs out. Or after you complete the challenge. See, 141. That is as close as I will ever get on pretty much any playthrough. That's why I'm not going to do the 150 man challenge. Because, because archers, because extremely large map, because excessive number, because egregious numbers of chainsaw enemies, and just fucking wrenches and twins in the, in the screenshot that it gives you when you're done with the map. That was the ship deck. I could say what I will about the ship deck. I'm not going to say don't play this map, but just proceed with caution. Pro uh, proceed with an open mind and a belief, perhaps in a higher power, that may grant you some leeway at times. So that the enemies will spawn where they should, so that you can kill them to get the 150 fucking kills. My high score for this level is 300,000. I'm content with that high score. Honestly, yes, I'm content with that high score for all the reasons that I have listed. This has been The Ship Deck, brought to you by Rocket Rabbit Commentaries and Cloud9 Plays Resident Evil 5 The Mercenaries. In the, le in the next and final part, we're going to take on The Prison, one of the most difficult, challenging, and fucking clusterfuckiest levels in all of Mercenaries. I will see you guys next time.